Alaska is one of the largest states in the United States in terms of size, but when it comes to the density of the population, it is considered one of the smallest. These factors, combined with the state's dense forest and cold climate, make it the perfect home for unknown creatures. One such beast is reported to inhabit the Iliamna Lake in southwestern Alaska. This is the Iliamna Lake Monster. The Iliamna Lake Monster, or more commonly referred to as Lily, is a mysterious aquatic creature that inhabits the cold, dark waters of the Iliamna Lake in Alaska. The Iliamna Lake is one of the largest lakes in the United States. It is approximately 1,012 square miles in total surface area and over 900 feet deep. This lake is bigger than the state of Rhode Island and is considered an inland sea. Frankly, if there is a body of water where an aquatic cryptid would be hiding, then this would be the lake it would hide in. Reports from the local population claim that Lily is a 10 to 30 foot monster with the head of a wolf and the body of a killer whale, very similar to the mysterious creature called the occult. Due to its massive size, Lily has been depicted as the fish god. Over the years, Lily has been reported to have claimed quite a few lives. Apparently, this creature has a flat, wide head that it uses to ram small fishing boats. While there is no physical evidence of this ever happening, it is a widely accepted trait of the monster. Local tribes tell of this creature dating back hundreds of years. Tribesmen of local natives are very wary of this creature and have never dared to hunt it. One major trait that gives this story and this cryptid credit is the fact that the description of Lily has remained constant throughout the centuries. There are hundreds of reported sightings of Lily throughout history. In 1942, Babe Ellsworth and Bill Hammersley were flying over Iliamna Lake. While flying over the island in the middle of the lake, the two men noticed unusual specks on the water surface. Unsure of what they saw, Aylesworth took the plane around for another look. During the second pass, both men got a clear look as to what they saw in the water. They described large fish-like creatures with aluminum color and a head that was broad and blunt. The head of the creature was the same width as its tail, and its tail waved from side to side, the opposite direction that whales wave their tails. The men reported that there were approximately 10 to 12 of these creatures in the water at the time of their sighting. Their sighting caused Hammersley to publish a short article describing the beast in an attempt to discover its true identity. This article caused Larry Rost, a U.S. Coast and Geodict survey pilot, to come forward with a sighting of his own. While he was flying over the lake, he reportedly saw a large fish that matched the description that the two men put in their article. In 1963, a biologist reported seeing a 25 to 30 foot creature under the surface of the water. Believing it to be a whale, he waited, hoping to see it surface for a breath of air. However, the creature remained below the surface and never came up for its breath. Eventually, the creature disappeared into the depths of the lake.